Hello everyone, welcome back to another video today. Um, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for MG21, except this one from my other ones is gonna be a lot more detailed than the others. I've done several MG21 tutorials in the past, but this one's gonna be a little more modified. Sorry if I'm just uh, acting a little weird. I'm eating Pop-Tarts right now, so don't, don't ask why. It's, it's a dessert, so just have dinner. Uh, anyway. So, so we're not going to go over any of the attacks because I'm pretty sure most of you have seen MG21's moves. So, um, yeah, let's just get on to the tips and tricks part of this video. So, anyways, uh, so we're going to go over some basic combos first before we get into the real stuff that you would probably use in a fight. So, this is the first combo. Turbo Strike plus Dash. Instantly, or you can do dash and then turbo strike, or turbo strike and then dash. Next one is invigorated kick and dash. Again, instant or one or the other. And then lastly, well actually not lastly, uh, we have surgical stab plus B. So that's also a typical move for MG21s. Um, Y'all know Proton Scream, so like just dash and just be here on it, like that. I'm not gonna go over that because it'll take a little bit. Um, next we got Creeping Salvo and um, Dash. So there you have it. Um, you know, I'll just show you. Those are all the combos that we pretty much just went over. Um, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to combine these in a certain 1v1 that you want to win. So just bear with me for a little bit. Now the first combo that we're gonna go over is invigorated kick plus dash. So what so like let's say there's like there's a like there's a Kong 20, 2021 or a Godzilla 2021 charging me, they're full on heading us or whatever. Um, they're charging me. What I want you to do is either stop walking for a few sec, stop sprinting for a few seconds, or you can sprint if you want to get some distance in between them. And um, what I want you to do is either stop sprinting or keep sprinting. And I want you to hit V and two at the same time. And if they're dumb enough to if they're dumb enough to try to hit you, or if they're desperate, they're gonna walk right into the ABI and they'll get damaged badly because the kick does over 700 damage at least i don't know what the exact damage is because i didn't check it uh hold on one second sorry i just left my dog back in the house anyway um the next move we're gonna go over is turbo strike and um dash so for this one, well, actually, no, we're not gonna. This is this is the combo I was thinking of. Um, what this is pretty similar to what I just showed you, except it's adding the turbo strike in. So you can either again, you can either stop sprinting or keep sprinting if you want to. But I'm just gonna keep off sprint for this. So what I want you to do is either do this or this. Um, if you're stop sprinting, if you're doing that, stop sprinting for a few seconds. Then what I want you to do is quickly hit number two, turn on your sprint, dash, and then turbo strike. And all together, that will do about 1,640 damage, or 1,640 damage. So that will be something really useful for a fight in case you're countering like another mecha. Another way you can counter a mecha in a fight is if they're trying, of course some mechas, most mechas will try to missile you at the start so you can either do this you can either fake one side and then go to the other and then missile them, that will catch their missiles off guard and you can control your missiles to hit them it actually works very very well in all my fights that i've done uh now my dog wants to talk with me uh go get your strawberry um anyway so that's that 
And proton scream is pretty just basic. You're just like dashing away and you're just proton screaming. Make sure to just keep your aim on the beam because like if, if it's like a low HP situation, the, the beam will be really helpful if you get all the ticks in because it does around 2K damage and it does around 300 damage per tick, I think. Before this up, before like it's nerfed, like on its range of the kick or something like this. Look how much it's nerfed now. Um, that's that. So, um, yeah. Uh, anyway, so next what we're gonna go over is if you if your opponent is ever coming up close to you, this is just a basic thing to do. You can if they're coming up close to you, just hit dash and turbo strike. It's most likely that they'll run into it and they'll get damaged badly since this combo does at least over 900 damage. So that will hurt it a lot. So what I want, what the main thing I want to go over is flyers. Flyers are a very important thing about using MG21 in case if you want to try to win against flyers. Like, take examples for like Monster Zero, Destroya, Showa King Ghidorah, Titanus Rodan, Titanus Mothra, Mogura and Mega Anguirus, Batra, etc. Anyway, um, anyways, so like, let's take, let's like, I'm trying to think of a good flyer to use. Let's take Titanus Rodan for an example. So you're fighting a really, really skilled Titanus Rodan. They're gonna try to like do their little rangey thing on you, like the Vulcan Burst which that will do a lot of damage to you if it's up at stage four. So be careful about that, MG21 users. So um, anyways, the first the first option you can do, if they're happening to come at you and they hit their um, attack, um, what I want you to do is just turn off sprint for a few seconds and just hit invigorated kick and dash at the same time. And they'll most likely run into the AVI and they'll get damaged badly since the kick range has a really good height. So it's gonna most likely hit the Rodan whether or not. Whether or not you'll still, it's, it'll still probably hit the Rodan. Um, it's just, it's, it, the possibilities are just at its spot, whatever you wanna call it. Now, another way to fight them is if they like, like, um, like, like, like when you hear their like little move, like on the barrel roll, like, don't blame my sounds. I'm like, I, that was my very bad impression. So don't just blame that for like maybe a few seconds. What you can also do is just hit and vigorate, kick and dash at the same time, or you can do turbo strike and dash. And that'll also help. Beaming, it's also very hard to do. I guess that's really skilled Titanic or dance since they're fast and PC players are able to dodge it easier. But if you're like in an open area, like right here, and let's say like the, like I'll take my circle for an example. If they, he land, see my circle? If he if he's like right here, if he's like right up there, right up there in the sky where my circle is, you can take this chance to beam them if they're like in a low HP situation. And in case y'all didn't know, HP for a Titanus Rodan is about 2,500 health or maybe a little less than that, and this beam does over 3,000 or 2,000 damage, that's gonna hurt him a lot. He's gonna be like forced to drop, but um, it's gonna be hard because if he's over, if he's up in the sky right there, he's gonna drop into the ocean right there. So it's gonna be hard, but like, let's say like he, like if you're beaming him from like right here and he drops like right here, you can take this opportunity to miss him. So he'll have to wait for a few seconds to get back to airborne and that will give you the opportunity to damage him and it's going to be most likely that you'll win the fight since the Rodan's going to try to well maybe not like in low HP terms since the Rodan will try its best to range you but it's most likely that they will mess up at one point and you'll manage to hit them badly and you'll manage to take the win now destroy us for the last thing that I'm going to go over Destroyers are very hard to fight for MG21s, but the main thing that I would do for fighting really skilled destroyers is going into the water. I'm not gonna actually do it right here, but well, actually, yes, I will. What am I doing? Um, <clears throat> so what you can do, if like the destroyer is like right up there in the sky, like right there where my circle was right here, 
if it's right there, you can take that opportunity to dash and proton scream at the exact same time. Because it's most likely that they'll have to chase you in the water, or you're gonna have, or they're gonna have to force to beam you, which Mecha Godzilla 2021 beam overpowers Destroyer's beam, even though Destroyer's beam lasts a little longer than Mecha's. But you can take that opportunity to get behind the rocks over here and he won't be able to damage you for a few seconds. And the beam will actually do a decent amount of damage considering that you're beam clashing, which would do like 500 to 1K damage at most. But missling, for an example, if they're coming down to hit you, just turn and hit them with the missiles and they'll most likely run into it and they'll take a lot of damage from it. So I hope this video actually helped you all for an understanding of how to use Mecha in a fight. Uh, I might do this again in the future, I'm not really sure, but I think I do have a planned mecha fight coming soon, so if y'all want to see that, you can use my examples of the, in this video in that fight. So, hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.